the frontiers of surgery will soon be pushed back thanks to real-time molecular imaging. Already today, Fluoptics is developing innovative fluorescence imaging solutions to assist surgery. The result of 10 years of research, this revolutionary technology is a major step forward. It meets a real need of surgeons, allowing them to see, during the operation, what is invisible to the naked eye. When surgeons operate today, they can only rely on their own experience, their sense of touch and vision, and images taken before the operation. But they often need additional real-time data about the physiology or the biology of the tissues they are working on. Our fluorescence imaging solutions will enable surgeons to visualize this otherwise invisible information in real time during the operation. The principles of fluorescence imaging are quite simple. A non-radioactive fluorescent marker is injected into a patient. This marker will attach itself to areas of interest lymph nodes or tumor cells, or will circulate through the vascular or lymphatic system. Once the fluorescent molecules are fixed or circulating, the surgeon will be able to locate the position of the marker very accurately during surgery. We use an optical imaging device that we developed called the Fluobeam. This excites the fluorescent marker molecules by lighting them in red and measures the light re-emitted from the marker in the near-infrared. Working in the near-infrared means that the fluorescence can be measured in ambient light and the work can be done in a lighted operating theater. Fluoptic solutions are already being used in numerous applications, such as reconstructive, cardiovascular, lymphatic and liver surgery in some cancers to detect sentinel nodes, and in fluorescence angiography. Today, they are being used in the operating room. We inject a patient with a fluorescent marker, in this case, endocyanine green, IC. The patient is then brought to the operating room the next morning for the operation. During open abdominal surgery, we use the flow beam, an optical device that detects fluorescence. The benefit of fluorescence is to draw our attention to things we wouldn't spontaneously see. For liver tumors, once we have highlighted a fluorescent halo, usually around the tumor, a second notion comes into play, that of the resection margin. And we know that if we section the liver at a distance from the halo, we will be away from the tumor. Today, fluorescence imaging is used on a daily basis at the Paul Brose Hospital during hepatectomies and transplants. The liver is examined with the optical imaging device, using endocyanine green as a fluorescent marker. The lesions we can see on the surface would have been missed by palpation or visual exploration. They appear as small fluorescent spots on the surface of the liver. This is really a device that gives us real-time imaging. It's like having an additional eye for the surgeon. It is the interoperative augmented reality. There is a real gain. Before the eye of the surgeon could do it, fluorescence imaging will help identify when an accident occurs, the main one being the clogging of a vein or an artery called thrombosis. The faster we act on the thrombosis, the greater the chance we have of saving the graft. In the few cases we've had, we have shown that fluorescence is more sensitive than the clinician's eye. Here, we can see the fluorescence appearing in the artery, and here, it's quite subtle, the return in the vein. So we know it's flowing correctly, and we can see the part of the skin of the graft lighting up. Then, we are sure, looking at this fluorescence image, that the blood is flowing in the artery. Fluorescence imaging will also find promising developments in cancer surgery. We are currently developing a fluorescent marker that will specifically target tumors and cancer cells. These tumors will be as lit up. The surgeon will be able to visualize them in real time during the operation and ablate them with great precision. These targeting molecular probes are eagerly awaited in cancer surgery, as operations remain the first line of defense against this disease. Our solutions will not only improve patient care, but will also reduce treatment costs. At Fluoptics, we are convinced that they will considerably simplify surgical practice. 
and will become common, if not essential. 